Hi guys, Rusty78609 at Valley of the Fires, BLM, New Mexico, uh, west of, uh, or well, yeah, west of Car Carrizozo. And I just wanted to give you a quick tip for you RVers, van dwellers, whatever, fifth wheel, motor homers, whoever. If you're RVing, here's something you might want to know. Tomorrow and Friday, actually starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow, we got some high winds coming in this area. It's going to come out of the west, southwest, and I'm about uh, 35 to 45 miles an hour and it could gust up to 60 they say I don't know and but I don't want to worry about it okay so what I did was I walked through the park just leisurely while ago looking at different sites and they're all pretty much vacant here currently and so what I thought I'd do I found a spot that was facing pretty much due east and west okay my, my spot is facing east and west according to my compass and south is that way north is that way so I've pretty much got my my, my my point into the wind so to speak but anyway here's what here's some things you need to consider if you're in an area particularly in the desert where you're going to get some high wind just a tip uh, you can do whatever you want to do of course and you will and most people won't even be aware that the wind is coming and that's the way life is uh, but anyway first of all point into the wind if possible okay if possible if you're in a travel trailer or a fifth wheel or whatever you've got with jacks or stabilizer, put them all down. Now, if it really looks like it's going to get up to high winds, you can fill up all of your tanks, black water and gray water, and that'll help stabilize the unit a little bit. But I don't, I'm not going to go to that much trouble. Of course, I, I'm pointing into the wind. All the jacks are down. And then you can, if you want to, for, an addition, for additional stabilization, you can hook up to your tow vehicle, okay? I'm not hooked up to my tow vehicle because what I've got right here that's better than any tow vehicle in the world is a mountain <laughs> that faces west, okay, and, and go kind of curves around to the uh, south. So southwest and west I'm covered, and that's, that's where they say the wind's going to come from tomorrow and Friday. So it looks good to me. It looks good on paper, you know that old saying, right? Uh, then the next thing you can do if you, if you, if you can't move, uh, you can also park your vehicle next to your RV, okay? And that helps a little bit because I did that earlier today and it actually helped a lot because I've only got a single axle travel trailer so you can get a lot of movement. And, uh, but you know, how much would it take to turn this RV, this travel trailer over? I'm not sure. I, I'm not a mathematician, physicist, or any of that kind of stuff. But based on what I've read, it looked like it takes 75 to 100 mile an hour gust to really flip it over if you had the jacks down and all that stuff. But I'm not going to worry about that. I've already moved. But so anyway, just so you know, uh, whenever there's a high wind coming, uh, and always if you're camping in the western USA, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, uh, and, and west Texas around Big Bend, believe me folks, they get some high winds in the desert. And particularly if if a thunderstorm crops up, you, you'll have winds go from zero to 80 in a matter of minutes. So if you're in the desert, one of my recommendations also is don't put your awning out. Don't, it, unless you're gonna be there. Unless you're gonna be there. If you're sitting under it, fine. But if you're gonna take a trip to the grocery store or cruise around, put it in, or you'll find it on the top of your RV. Have you ever seen that happen? Yes. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say was, so for, for high winds, take caution okay and there is a, a website it's called I can't even remember now it's high winds USA dot high or winds USA net something like that <laughs> it's, I've got old timers disease I can't remember all those things but anyway I have it bookmarked and so forth but you can find out what the winds are by looking at just your local weather and and also double check it you know You'll check it twice during the day. Why? Because the weather forecast changes so quickly. In other words, if you look at a three-day forecast, it'll look, hey, that looks great. Let's go. Well, you get there and three days later, there's a hail storm and the wind's 100 miles an hour. Well, check, 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 check every day. You know what I mean? So what else? That's it. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything your little heart desires, but if you think about it and you choose to do it, use the link to Amazon product in the description of my videos. Why? Because I make a little money off of it. You know what I mean? And I get a little commission, but it doesn't cost you a dime uh, if you choose to use it. 
thumbs up for you. If you don't want to fool with it, no problem. Not a problem at all. Also, drink plenty of water out here in the west or in the desert. Drink at least three or four quarts per day, every day, every day, every day. And what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep, breathe out slowly. What does that do? It relieves stress. And what does that do? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. I'm telling you, any way you, anyway, you look at it, it is. What else? Uh, stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. I've done enough exercise day for, for 10 days of walking. I mean, I, I, I reset my RV at the old spot I was at, and then I've moved to this spot. So you know, I've been busy today. Why? Because what happens is you can't sleep good when the wind is blowing. You know what I mean? It's like sleeping on a sailboat. Yeah, even though you've got your jacks down and all the stuff, in a high wind, your RV is going to move. I guarantee you. It's not a brick or sticks and bricks home. It's not on a foundation. And for some reason, for me, uh, that disturbs my sleep. And I don't like to be disturbed when I'm sleeping. <laughs> so, what else? Stand guard the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned inside your head. And that's it, guys. Watch out for the winds, guys. I know I look great. I look like crap. I know. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.